Customization is a big part of V4 and Strapi going forward. And part of customization comes with making mistakes. With V4, we're introducing a new error handling API. And with the new error handling API, you have an idea of what goes wrong when it goes wrong in your apps. So if you had a look at our database query video on V4, you have ideas of accessing different parts of the Strapi database using strapi.db.query. Sometimes that can come with errors. We'll go back into the app that we made and see how we can handle a couple of errors, should we have any. So I'll open VS Code to refresh your memory. Here we have entries, and then we're passing the entries that we're searching for in our database, and then passing that to the CTX body to be displayed whenever we make a request. Let's make a request to our hello endpoint, and that works out. Let's change out what that says. Right, so let's get rid of this and make CTX body say hello world. Hello world. When we go to API slash hello, we get hello world, but we want to know how we can handle errors. There we go. So back into VS code, we'll paste this snippet in. We'll define a const message and name that to, and create a situation where if message is equal to one, we return bad request and we can define exactly what this error means, should we get that, and give more details into what that error is. So, message, we'll leave message and define that as one so that we can trigger this error and see how the new error handling API displays errors for us to figure out what exactly went wrong. So we'll save that and we'll go to our endpoint and refresh. Great, so we get a 400. We get the error name, bad request error. We get a message that we define that says bad thing fam. And then we get more details that say this message not sent. All these things we defined. We can change this message to be more explicit and give more details about what exactly we're doing and the business logic that we're implementing so that people who are using that API in our team or externally have an idea of what's gone wrong in the back end. We have these methods, which are accessible via our documentation, that define what type of errors that we can throw. So bad request is a 400, and all of these reference HTTP errors documentation, but use camel case. Bad request for 400, unauthorized for 401, and the list goes on. We can change and say locked, for example, from bad request to locked. And now we get locked error 43 just by changing that. So I hope you have fun figuring out what goes wrong when stuff eventually does go wrong when you're customizing your Stripe apps with the new API to handle errors.